quite a good film, you know, and um, I don't know, it's hard for me to pick just one that, that, he's, <laughs> that, he, that he's done that I like the best. I mean, certainly I, I like the, the very first Dirty Harry as well very much, you know, but uh, I don't know if it was, that was going to really win in the Academy Awards. <laughs> Oh, you, you, you would be right. <laughs> I've been, um, I mean, I didn't make a conscious a decision to stop doing film music. I just, uh, I've been just busy doing my own projects and, uh, and um, kind of focusing on my band and playing with a few other people's bands. And, and then this, this new project that I'm doing is it's, um, with my quintet, but with, with full symphony orchestra. And, it's kind of a, it's a it's a, an homage to my father and his films because it's all music from his movies that's been rearranged for for jazz quintet but with you know 55 piece orchestra. So that's the project we've been doing. That's the one we did at, at Umbria back um, back in the summer, and um, we're kind of doing quite a few concerts with that with this project this this year and into next year. Hai ragione, non è stata una scelta consapevole, semplicemente eh, mi hanno mi ha assorbito l'idea di sviluppare dei progetti miei insieme al, al mio gruppo, al mio quintetto e a proposito di nuovi progetti ce n'è proprio uno eh, che vede appunto la collaborazione eh, tra il nostro il mio quintetto e un appreciation of films, you know, I'm, I grew up watching a lot of movies with, with him and, uh, and just in general, but um, um, you know, when I would spend time with him, he would, we would watch like sometimes like a movie on the, on the television or, or he would have like a, a videotape, a Betamax tape or something, you know, a Betamax is back in the old days um, of, of some sort of recent film and we'd watch that and then he's like, okay, well you, you choose one film and we'll watch that and then, and then after we watch that, I get to choose a film and like, and so he would get a large collection of of old movies, you know, movies like from the 30s and 40s and 50s and um, movies that he grew up watching, you know. So he sort of introduced me to a lot of, uh, a lot of, you know, film history, you know, and, uh, and, and uh, so I have him to thank for that and, um, and, uh, and, and music as well. And uh, I mean, I hope to, I think I've passed that on to, um, to my daughter, you know, she's, uh, she's actually a musician as, as well. And, um, um, and also a big, you know, lover of, of the cinema and stuff, and so she's, uh, we sort of continued the tradition of watching movies together and appreciating film, and then doing your own albums and doing, especially jazz, because I mean, jazz is sort of all about, you know, freedom and, and, and playing how you want and, and, and interacting with other musicians and sort of, I mean, jazz is sort of all about freedom, really, and but film music is obviously, you have to, write something that complements what's on the screen and, and is supportive of, of the emotion and, and supportive of, the, of certain characters and, and just mainly supportive of the film, really. So um, uh, so it's a different kind of, you know, music writing process, really, you know, doing, doing, doing film music than, than jazz, really. But um, I don't know, I mean, it's, it's uh, there's different kinds of film music, you know, I mean, some, I mean, some scores like John Williams, like the music almost becomes like as important as one of the characters, you know, sometimes, and, uh, and is very memorable, and then other films, you know, there's, music is much more subtle, so uh, it depends on what you're going for, really, what's, you know, what, what the director wants, and, and, and how you, you hear it yourself, you know. Really like those characters, you know. He's um, he's much more easygoing, you know, than, than than the characters you see on film, you know. I mean, there's there's certainly you know pieces of his personality in all those characters, you know. I see when I see them, those films, you know, I, I can see like bits of his sense of humor or, or certain pieces of his personality in all those characters. But you know, he's certainly not as as harsh and stern and in real life, you know, but, um, I mean, I think actually the, the, the film that is the most like his real personality, the character is most like his real personality is, um, is maybe the, the character in, uh, Bridges of Madison County, I would say, is that's, that's probably the most of what he's really like, you know, but, um, um, no, I mean, he's, no, he's, he, we, we you know, he's, he's pretty mellow, I think, you know, pretty, much more mellow than what you see. Western 